How is everybody doing? I wanted to pop on here and say hello. I am in two days into a home retreat that I've set up for myself and I wanted to tell you about it in case it was something you might be interested in joining me on in some way. So I decided that for one week I needed to change up some behaviors and look at what was happening under the surface more inside myself. What brought this on was noticing that I was eating a lot of sugar like cupcakes and um, cookies and craving sodas and like really feeling like oh I gotta have something this neurotic feeling and what I know is that when um, that is happening it's not really that I need something it's that there's something underneath that feeling of needing something there's a feeling there's something I'm avoiding where I'm looking for something else to to get me distracted from it because it's uncomfortable so I know that and um, I know that I need to sort of create a space for myself to go there. So that's what I did this week and I went there so far. <laughs> I'm staying off social media almost entirely, maybe looking at it. I looked at it once today and I looked at it twice yesterday. Um, just looked and within not even for two or three minutes. So I am continuing with cutting that out for one week and looking at all my feelings around that, you know, the feelings of like, um, do I need to do it for work? Do I really need to do it for work? Can I create this container for myself? Is it okay for me to do that? I also noticed that many times when I log on, there are feelings of a little neuroticness or a need to follow what someone is doing and seeing what they're doing and sort of feeling nosy or, um, or longing or these weird emotions. So I'm stopping myself, I'm noting what the emotion is and I'm writing it down. I'm doing a lot of journaling in the morning, more than I usually do, and and asking myself before I choose things to go deep down into my pelvic bowl, down into my womb space, down into what's called Yuhara in martial arts, and feeling, well, is this really what I want? Or, or is this feeling like my energy is going down? Or is it feeding my energy? And I'm choosing in a deeper way. But at the same time, I'm being gentle with myself. So I'm I'm giving myself more time and space to make choices. Cutting out alcohol. I'm um, drinking juices, beet juice and green juice every day from a local farm. Um, and also cooking more for my kids. We were eating out a lot, so I'm doing more cooking. And allowing myself to do things like lay in the sun and love my body more I'm in my bikini, which I get on very rarely <laughs> and I'm realizing that I have some um, I don't know like my body just feels like it's changing and I'm getting older and things are changing and I have some thoughts and feelings around that that I'm just wanting to to clear a little more and go through the thoughts and the feelings find the truth of what's underneath that that feels like the most empowered loving true thought and you know for me that is that my body is my body serves me beautifully and that um, when I'm in shame or not loving it or wishing it was in another way, there's all these weird stories that are backing it up that I just want to clear out the stories and be in a place of pureness and of love with it. So part of that is looking at my body, letting my, the sun touch my skin, um, being with my skin and just feeling into different experiences inside my body. I'm also adding one thing every day that is out of my normal behavior that is nurturing, but it's a unique experience like taking myself out for dinner by myself or um, going into going to the beach. I don't go to the beach very much. I live near a beautiful beach and I don't go. So I'm looking at things that I can do that would be unique. Um, even going to um, Starbucks with a book for 20 minutes and reading. I've been so busy working so hard putting so much output that this is my way to fill up my soul on the inside and to just like I'd be on vacation stop doing and what can I do to be here so that strategy and also each day I what can I clear out and it's been so far a lot of mental stuff and a lot of writing but I'm also completing a lot of tasks that have been sitting on the shelf I um, take an online yoga course, so I'm actively catching up on that work. I um, have a few more videos in this program, so I want to catch up on those. 
um, anything that or these loose threads I want to complete and be done as and this also means clearing out there's some things in the garage I need to give away I want to clear out space so that I have more space for myself to be in so each day I'm looking at it like in truth how much is my energy here and what's one thing whether it's a drawer or my purse I cleared out my purse I've got to clear out my car and you know, picking one thing each day without getting crazy about it one little thing that I can clear out and at the end of the day you know really reflect on that um, so that is my practice and I just wanted to see if there's anyone out there that would be interested in the challenge of maybe a one-day retreat for yourself or even just the challenge of one day this week taking yourself on some kind of an experiment with your body and do something out of the norm and be more mindful of what is you're, it, you're experiencing in your body and in your mind as you're doing that and perhaps even sharing it on here that this is a container for us. One of the other things I'm um, re-entering into is a class I take through the Neuroscience Academy. It's an educational program online through Australia where they study the brain and they share the latest research like right over the last couple of years of what's coming up through brain science. And there's a lot of information about um, the brain and nutrition, and I wanted to share that with you. One is that um, the latest research on gluten and the brain is interesting, and it's that even though there are some books and there's some research saying gluten is very bad for your brain, the, the real research that is not funded by anyone that has an ulterior motive other than just research has said that um, for the most part, whole grains are good for you and that they may have gluten but it's not bad for the brain they do contribute to diseases if you have too many carbs and you're overdoing it or if you have refined breads that they're all they're not as good for the brain not as good for your body overall it they lead to certain diseases that also put the brain at risk like diabetes or um, hypertension is another one so the basic thing with nutrition is balance and it was eat more whole foods don't lean on your supplements to supplement what you need to get from whole foods and have a balanced diet um, the other thing I said is that coffee is good for your brain believe it or not that two to three cups a day is recommended and um, if that agrees with you that that actually can keep the brain and fight away dementia a little bit the other good news for some of you is that wine a glass or two a night is red wine is good for the brain and um, I want to add to that that I'm not promoting drinking wine in fact I'm for me personally I know that I'm more mindful and connect more and engage more clearly when I don't have it so um, I'm clearing away anything that I feel attachments to this week and getting into the emotions under the surface and clearing that out so when I do want a glass of wine I'm gonna enjoy it and it's not gonna be something I need for stress relief <laughs> so um, I uh, just wanted to add, add that into it. What else did I learn about the brain this week? Um, the other thing is more research is coming out about the sense of belonging and that we need to have this sense of belonging to engage our brain and it gives us so much uh, sense of stability and our and when we talk with people and we communicate and we engage and go back and forth it is one of the most stimulating things for our brain to go through and it's challenging it's one thing that for a lot of us is uncomfortable sometimes but stepping into it is important and what this talked about is that um, social media actually is really healthy in many ways it connects a lot of us and I'm so grateful for um, media for programs that I can do while I'm raising my kids at home and that I can connect with all of you and it spoke about how that's one form, but balancing it with doing other things as well. Um, balancing it with social groups that you belong to and face-to-face -face contact and touch and how important that is. So I was reflecting on all the different groups that I'm part of and how important it is to have a variety, that if you lean on one group and if you're looking for one certain group of a certain amount of qualities and, and that's, your, that's your tribe and that's your only tribe, that you are actually at a little bit of risk because then it can form dependency, it can form, um, you can overuse it and when you might need more um, 
you might need um, a more variety of personality styles to support you in any given moment at different times in your life. So if you say nurture a group that are, say people that have known you since kindergarten, that you know through social media, you're nurturing that group, that this sense of receiving from a community also means giving to it. So being aware that there is an exchange that has to happen and being conscious of what that exchange is, what you're giving, what you're receiving. Um, and having many groups. Maybe you also have a circle of people who are all parents and they are helpful when you're feeling burnt out as a parent. Or maybe there's another circle that are all yogis or all dancers. The more of these circles that you have that you consciously nurture and keep your fingers on the pulse of them and engage back and forth, the healthier it is for your brain and the healthier it is for your soul to feel nurtured and supported. So that's it in a nutshell. I hope you're having a great week and I would love to hear more about um, how you are doing personally, how you're doing with your brain and with your body. And um, I'm very interested in, in knowing how you can shift perspectives in your brain and shift your thoughts and shift your beliefs so that you're feeling strong and empowered and working your way in life to grow. All right. Have a great week, everybody.